Hey feeling? Right. Nervous? Yeah, <laughs> right, let's start. Let's do it. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Hmm. Um, I used I used to be a night owl in high school. I remember when COD used to come out and stuff like that, I would always like stay up and stuff and I'd, I'd play it all night and then just next day I'd just go back to school. But really? now, yeah, now when I started work... And then you'd nap in the day? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But no, I would come back home and play COD. Oh, you just continue, yeah. you just never slept, okay. Yeah, I never slept. That yeah. kind and of energy? Then, and then, but now, now that I'm working, yeah. I've probably become a morning person. Like, I need to get my seven hours of sleep. Like, if yeah. I don't get my seven hours of sleep, like... Yeah. yeah, I don't feel good the next day. Yeah, I mean, I'm at uni like almost every single day and mm. I'll still sleep at 2 a.m. I can't remember the last time I've slept before 12 a.m. Really? So what time do you usually sleep? 11, at latest like 11.30. Oh, I, don't, I feel like I don't even know you. Yeah, honestly, honestly. <laughs> That's so I funny, we're literally opposites. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, my turn. What do you get the most compliments about? Uh... I don't know, it's like a bit of a topic of controversy, but I was going to say like my hair. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I feel like right now I've got this new change in my beard and yeah. non-stop. There, there are, I don't know about compliments, but yeah. comments at least. Uh, what about your beard? Your, your goatee or your that's, response about it? Yeah, mix, mix, mix. <laughs> I like it. I was, so, I like new it. look, new look. Yeah. Um, but obviously, cows get the girls. <laughs> yeah. um, I get what's it called. Um, I used to get loads of comments, especially when my hair mm. was long, about my hair yeah. and compliments about my hair. So yeah, well, do we have a photo? We could, we'll put a photo up of you when you have long hair. You start yeah, really long yeah, hair. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably my hair. What about you? I get mainly complimented about my IT skills. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't funny. know if I'll answer physical things, but it's like, like nerd, man. <laughs> everyone <laughs> just says like, oh, you're so good at this like computer stuff. Yeah. But I, I don't like it because like sometimes I, I go to a place or somewhere and I become the IT guy. Uh, and it's like, you know, yeah, every, every, every little thing like, oh, can you help me fix this? Can you help me fix that? I don't mind. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, like, of course, I like helping people and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But like when you become the person, sometimes like... So you get called in sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know that right. so much, yeah. Let's go. Um, would you rather give a gift or receive a gift? Oh, that's an easy one. I love giving gifts. I love yeah. giving gifts. Like I could have guessed that about you, to be honest. Yeah. Like what I. What was the best gift you've given? Um. Oh, there's so many. Like I, 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 I tend to go for like really thoughtful gifts, like okay, that have meaning and stuff, and that's like nice. some planning and stuff yeah. like that. I, I like giving gifts because I like the process of like trying to figure out what that person likes yeah things like that try to yeah. make it thoughtful like so it actually makes sense i'd rather spend less money but like make it thoughtful yeah um and so i like that about you a lot of effort goes into it yeah, my yeah. Gifts. <laughs> that's nice i don't can i, I don't know if, I, if you'll let me tell the camera this one time he made a uh he made a monopoly a, mon, a, mon, a, yeah. a custom made monopoly for someone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <was> <laughs> where each stop was a specific thing yeah that was a good gift. that was maybe one of the best ones yeah yeah the matter yeah what is an irrational fear you have? Oh, this is so easy for me. Uh, it's, I don't know, is it irrational if it's a rat? It's rats. I cannot. Rational. It's rational. Irrational. It, it, do you think? Well, I, they're me, grim. Yeah, I mean, if I see a rat, you'll see me run like you've never seen before. The other, the other day I locked myself in my car for half an hour because I saw a rat run past in Wait, my, like in in my parking car park? lot. Yeah, yeah, in the, oh in the, in the car park. Um, I just, I, I stayed, I stayed, yeah, I, st I stayed in the um, parking lot for half an hour, waited to make sure the coast was clear. Oh, I, I uh, brought down the window, started tapping my car, making sure there's no one there. Why did you tap your car? <laughs> like, you know, like if rats hear noises, they'll oh, they're like, like, yeah, they'll scatter, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so probably, probably that. Like one even, time I had to like get someone ones? to park my car for me as well. I was like, forget this, because no I saw way. rats. I was like, I love it. I think it's rational in the sense that like, rats are disgusting. Mm. You know, like obviously you don't want to touch one because they're like garbage on them or whatever. But to like have that kind of fear to like wait in the car for half. They, 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 they have diseases, man. They carry diseases. Yeah, but it won't hurt you. Like, what, what, what are you scared of? Like, Getting a, like, I don't want to disease. What, they're going to bite you or something? Yeah, yeah, bite me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, bite, especially like, if I ever go out with my um, with no shoes, like you're wearing slippers. Mm. Oh. I don't think I've ever heard a story of anyone saying like, oh, I, went, I was wearing sandals and a rat bit me. 
I've got a few stories. Like snakes, fair enough. <laughs> Sna snakes bite, like fine. Rats bite, man. To be fair, I mean, I spiders, I hate spiders. I don't like. Mm. In Australia, they have these huge spiders, mm. which like it's very normal for them to keep them in the in their toilets. It's a huge one. You one keep them in the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like keep them like pets, man. In Australia, apparently, oh. I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, and this huge one actually protects the household from all the other poisonous spiders because they've got right. so many spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some I've heard like some Australians like name their, their that toilet sound, spider. That, that, that doesn't sound so bad. Like you have a spider. It's this big, protect... man. It's like it's huge. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I would. I, I, I I'm not too bad with spiders, though. I'm not too. I'm not too bad. Yeah, I couldn't handle it, but mm. yeah. I mean, I, and I think I heard a story. I don't know if it's true. Or not. I think in Australia there's a type of spider, or maybe in other countries as well, that tends to hide in shoes. That creeps me out so uh, much. Like, imagine putting your shoe on and you squash something. Like you something. feel something. Like, that would that would really creep me out. I would hate that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what's next. What is one small change you made in your life that has had a much bigger impact than you anticipated? I don't know if I'm meant to answer like if it's meant to be like a deep thing or like a funny thing, but the first thing that popped into my mind, the first thing that we said, the first thing that popped into my mind was in first year, when I, like first year I was living out mm. um, at uni. Yeah. Um, I used, I love cooking, so I cook a lot, and I had mm. my cupboard. I open it and I always use olive oil, and it's always for some reason at the back of the cupboard. Like I would have other stuff in there, like other sauces, spices, and things like that. Yeah. But like oil, you use literally every time you cook. Yeah. And Pretty much the whole year that bottle was right at the back and if one day towards the end of the year mm. i was i picked up the bottle and i was like why do i struggle to get this bottle every like for a whole year and then last time i put it back i just put it back at the front so that i don't have to bypass all these bottles and spices things become to get routine, the oil bottle. it becomes routine things become routine and it, it sounds it sounds silly but like just that moment of me just putting the bottle at the front of the cupboard to make it more accessible yeah i was just like why haven't I done this? But yeah, like I know it sounds silly, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like I go through this a lot in my life, like yeah. where I change one little thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, why haven't I done this from before? Like, I don't <laughs> know, it just changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> when did you last laugh really, really hard? Um, I've got quite a bad memory for like these, like remembering spe speci mm. specific points, specific things. Um, Probably, um. Oh, the bloopers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bloopers. Our bloopers are like, uh, I can't, yeah, I, I can't help sure. one, watching, not watching, opening that bloopers folder and just watching <laughs> them and I die every time. It's so funny. I think we'll, we'll release it. Um, I think we said when we get to a thousand subs. Yeah, that'd um, be But we've, we've got a whole folder. Of just, we get to uh, a thousand. <laughs> yeah, we're mad, but we've got a whole folder of just like bloopers and stuff. Yeah. yeah it's quite funny. Yeah. I loved Bear when I watched that. Yeah. Your turn? No, it's you. Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much does someone's opinion matter to you? Um, I think it used to matter a lot, like when I was younger. Mm. The older I get, the less I care. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like you got you got to have some thick skin to be doing this stuff on like Instagram, YouTube, things like that. Luckily, yeah. like we we've not really got much hate, no. hate or anything like that. No, we have been all. really supportive, yeah. to be honest with you. We'll yeah, get it exactly. eventually if we get big enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, and I, I think it'll be really day, important then. Yeah, one day there'll be a hate comment or yeah. like something, but I just. I care about the opinion of those who are close to me. Yeah. Like those I do care about. So like if, if, if you, my mom, my sister, my dad, like or someone I care about, like says yeah. something to me about either something I've done or their opinion of the way I behave or said mm. something, then yeah, of course I'll care. Yeah. But if it's like a random person who, you know, is a bit irrelevant to me, then I yeah. won't really care much. Of course, I'm always open to feedback. Like if, if, it's, if they're just giving me feed, there's a difference between like feedback and just like hate comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if someone is giving me feedback, even if I've never met them or if I don't know them, of course, you'd, I will care about yeah, that. Yeah, you'd opinion. appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Um, but I think the question was more towards like, I don't know, it sounded like more towards like hateful comments or like different kinds of opinions. But, yeah. Um, definitely those close to me. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. What are you overthinking right now? Oh, my, my exams. Oh, your finals. <laughs> Probably, yeah, my finals, yeah. Um, I don't know, like, ever since A levels, I've never really um, failed at uni and stuff, mm. thankfully. Um, but I've. Probably, yeah, I don't know why, like, this is the last, last mm. milestone, the last step yeah, five years before I, like, now. go out into the world and, and mm. practice. Um, and, yeah, yeah, five years, like, it's all riding on, like, this, all, not one shot, you get two, two yeah, shots. Yeah, you fail. But, uh... <laughs> You're not gonna fail, you'll be fine. You'll yeah, fine. hopefully, but probably that. If I, I think everyone ever well. thinks finals. Yeah. Like, did we you? We all did it. A little bit. A little bit yeah. at the start, and then, I think, I don't know, we got 
f- after five years, yeah. you kind of become like numb to it all. Like you're revising so much, so much. Then yeah. I feel like exams lose their importance. Like by the end of like the last, last, yeah, last you exam, get I stressed out maybe less. But this, I, I became numb to it. Second, third, and fourth year, and then fifth year. Now it's like oh, we've got. I'm forty days away. Mm. I'm forty days away, or something like that, and. Uh, stressed <laughs> no it's normal it's, that's normal yeah. i think if you mildly went, like i'm not yeah it's not too it's not too too bad it's not um but i am overthinking it it would be abnormal if you weren't like stressed about it yeah overthinking it too much of course yeah maybe not so much who's it who's it me who's you what is your favorite part about yourself that isn't physical um favorite part about myself that isn't physical mm. um i think i'm i could answer this easily for you probably Oh, IT. <laughs> IT, no, IT. man. I think I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite creative and like I take when I take on a project, I like can move it forwards and I like, yeah. just think of loads of ways of like doing loads of random things with it and expanding yes. it and just yes. kind of making it a thing. Yeah. So like if there's like a little idea or stuff and something and then I will make it a huge thing. Yeah. You've got a one in mi- one in a million work ethic as well, bro. Like you really do. You <laughs> no, no, you do, you do, you do. You do as well, man. Honestly, work, I feel like hard. we've both worked so hard on the YouTube channel, like so many hours and yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, your mum always says it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She sees us in the studio here, but um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to overwork myself, of course. Um, but I feel like at the moment, I don't know we're young. We've got the energy. Let's just do as much as yeah. we can. Try yeah. to open up as many avenues as we can. And, like, For sure. Lead, go down them and see where it leads us to. Yeah. Lucky to have you. <laughs> have you ever hit rock bottom? Oh yeah. I, I, I can so easily answer this. It's just this, it's, it has to be when I was failing my AS mm-hmm. levels um, and wanted to do dentistry more than anything and, um, and, and found out I didn't get the grades mm-hmm. um, to be able to get in. And if I had to, if I had any chance of getting in, I would have mm-hmm. to retake all my, all my AS and, and um, A2 at the same time. Yeah, I remember you were messed at that time. Yeah, man. Like I really was. That was that really was rock bottom. Like if you ever like think about some, I had a car at the time as well, and um, like seventeen or something, and um, I would play like depressing songs. I just sit there in my car and cry and be like, "What am I gonna do?" <laughs> like, I yeah, yeah that's, that's. I can't imagine you. Doing I know, I know. I, I never saw it. It's quite unlikely, but um, it's. Yeah, that's that's rock bottom for me. Man. Yeah. I remember you were, was, when you were that retaking. That was a hard, hard year, man. When you were retaking the year, like you were revising, like yeah, and that was that was probably yeah. Ago. And it was yeah. Un- and I, we could, we all were telling you relax, 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 calm but down. You weren't doing it. And you I, know, just, I know, so I know, I know, I know. Like Cause we used to go to your house as well, and we were just you know, yeah, yeah. It was it was bad. I remember, but um, that was, was okay. def- at least, definitely at least you're there now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm probably at the high highlight of my life at the moment, probably, and hopefully it just gets better. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Who's next? I think it's... Oh no, I just asked you. You just asked me, yeah, you're right. I'm really bad at like remembering yeah. things. Okay. Would you be described as spontaneous? No. I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Straight away, I could answer, yeah, no. yeah, no. I like to plan things, like... Um... But if you, okay, by, but we, you get to plan, you want to plan things, but let's say you want to, um, if somebody offers you a plan straight away, are you spontaneous to do it? Or Even you... then, no. I like to do my research. I like, like, for okay. example, like if someone came up, like my sister says, "Oh, come, let's go, uh, let's go Spain on Friday." Yeah. Like, you would be like, "No." What? Like, yeah, that would take me by surprise. Or like, let's start this tomorrow. Let's yeah. do something. I like to do my plan, planning my research. Like, know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Like, I get anxiety if I'm going into a situation or something where I don't know what to expect yeah. and like what what's gonna happen. Yeah. So I like to plan ahead as much as I can. So like, but I you know, know what? what I get myself into. It's good to be spontaneous, but what you do as well, you create an itinerary. Like mm. it's 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 good because you go there and you have things to do, like no matter what. Yeah. And you know they're gonna be things you want to do. Mm. So I mean, I admire that as well. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I know. I know because like some people just like randomly book a holiday and they just like go and they just decide what they're gonna do on yeah. the day and stuff. Like that. And that's fair enough. And a lot of people enjoy that and they get a lot out of it. Yeah, but yeah. Like, for me, yeah, that's part. Of, as for me, that's part of the fun. That's like part of the fun. Right now, we didn't know, a, a minute ago, we didn't know that we were gonna do this crazy adventurous thing and mm. now we're doing it. Like for me, that's huge. Yeah, you get thrill out of yeah, that. You get, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. get I get enjoyment out of knowing that I got the most yeah. out of my holiday. 
<laughs> like, like I love food. Yeah, I yeah. love food. So if I'm going to Milan to go and eat, I like I want to make sure I'm going to the, the best, best restaurants yeah, in yeah. Milan and trying out all the different foods. Yeah. Rather than I hate it when okay, I don't hate it when people do it, but like, I hate if I was doing it myself. Like mm. I would hate to go to Milan and just walk on the street and pick a restaurant. Really? I would hate to. Like, and I know a lot of people I'm not do. Too against but that. then like people tell I'll, me I'll like oh that. oh I went I went I went Milan. The food was rubbish. I was like, okay, where did you eat? It's like, oh, you know, some of the restaurants just next to the, um, whatever, wherever they were. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, and you feel like they've not made the most of their trip. Yeah, I mean, but to them, but to, but to them, they might have had the best trip because they did that though. No, but then why are they telling me the food in Milan is rubbish? Because mm. then I feel like you you got to do your research, like go on Google Maps, TripAdvisor, find the best restaurants, and then and then but because I know then I'm eating at like the best like calzone place or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, I'll enjoy the food. But that's only because I'm such a foodie. I know if you don't yeah. care about food, like, fair enough. Like, yeah. You can just go eat wherever you want and you'd be happy to have McDonald's. I know friends who just go on holiday constantly have McDonald's because that's just convenient and they don't care about the food. Yeah. Which is fair enough as well. Yeah, yeah. My turn? Your turn. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Um, I love skiing, but I don't think I could live somewhere cold. Permanently, I don't think that's for me. Um, You're but, but I would love, warm, aren't you? yeah, but I would love to be able to access a ski resort somehow, like maybe like a few hours drive, okay, something quick. But it would have to be somewhere hot. I don't know, like if that exists. So somewhere that's got like decent weather, so it's not. To me, you know what? You know what? I, you know where? You know where? Because in Lebanon, it would be Lebanon. Mm. But Lebanon, not with this, not in this corrupt time where okay. we have a corrupt government, and um, it would be in Lebanon. Like maybe I don't know, um, in an ideal world with no corrupt okay. government. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you can go to the top of the mountain and ski for however long you want. Let's say you go 7 a.m. You go up there, you do some skiing. Midday, mm. you stop. You take a half an hour drive down to the beach. Mm. 30 degrees now. Mm. You're on the beach. You can jump in the sea, nice and warm. Like okay. it will be Lebanon. Nice. Prob- yeah, if if it was a stable, if it was a stable mm. country, but I mean, like, Hopefully soon. who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? I mean, uh, <laughs> hyperinflation at the moment, Come but we'll Boris. see how that goes. <laughs> Come on, Boris. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's your turn, I think. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fun tech question for you. What apps do you use most often? Um, unfortunately, Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Why is that time. unfortunate? Oh no, because I feel like. I could be spending my time better on either other apps or like other things and stuff like that. Mm. Um, my bank apps. <laughs> Yo, this is so crazy. You know what? I check my bank app way too many times. Yeah. Like, ah. Uh, and and my trading bring. apps for my stocks and shares and stuff. Yeah. I know I shouldn't be checking it every day because it's so like up and down and stuff. I, yeah. Like when you I believe in like stuff. long-term um, yeah. stocks and shares as well. Like you believe staying staying in the game for yeah, ages. Yeah, so it's not like I'm going to sell or anything. And you're not doing like shorts I'm, or anything, so. Yeah, but I don't know. I check that. I check. I need to figure out there. Yeah. But it's because I check out. You know what? You know when you're like looking. I don't know, but maybe it's like some dopamine spikes or something. Yeah. But I check that our YouTube studio studio app. Oh yeah. A lot. Like yeah. way too, way much more than I should be checking yeah. it. Yeah. But just to check like views and like subs, everything. Yeah. Just analytics. Yeah. I just, think I check that pretty much every day as well. Yeah. 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 yeah my guilty pleasure. I check it multiple times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pick up. Um, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? I've always got, I don't know, maybe a lion? Mm. Uh, king of the like jungle. I look like a lion. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, when you had your long hair, you did. We always used to say Yeah, maybe it feels out and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, lion, king of the jungle. I feel like they're nice family pack mm. animals. They always like stick as a group. They're fierce. Mm. I'm not trying to say I'm fierce, but. Yes. Big yourself up this episode. I know, Love right? It. Love it. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm nobody, man. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Viva Voce. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as we enjoyed filming it. We can't wait to show you all the other episodes we have with other dentists. And we'll see you in the next episode.